in a desolate, wasted world, in between the crumbling remains of buildings, we see two figures. One who seems to represent the pure darkness, with his fist held high, floating only a few feet off the ground. The other, light, bleeding on one knee, barely able to stand. Then the dark one spoke as though from the shadows themselves. You have lost, Wind. He laughed, lowering his arms to the side. Give up. Give up this charade. Look around you, there is no one left. Wynne looked from side to side, viewing the destruction. There were no trees, no grass, just empty structures lost to the elements for many, many years. The Dark One spoke again. You are all alone. He scuffed. Bow to me, Wind, just like this world did many years ago. The dark figure still standing triumphant lands before wind. As he does, you can see the shadows moving around him as though they're controlled by his very hands. I am Hatred, the demon lord of this world. Bow to me. He moves his hands and the shadows spike as though they were blades piercing wind, pinning him to the ground. Wind held his tongue, but the pain showed through. Don't resist, wind. Join me. Wynn stopped, looked up with what seemed like strength he hadn't had before. Then he spoke. I understand now. Raising his head, he looked hatred in the eyes. I understand what happened now. Hatred, shocked by this new strength, steps back. This world is mine, Hatred proclaimed. In his anger, he raises his hand to the shadows. And nothing you can do will stop me. Closing his palms, the shadows enclose Wind, piercing him from all sides. He steps up, placing his hand on Wind's chin, forcing Wind to look him right in the eyes. You will not take it. Wind's eyes stare back without wavering, with as though hope were in them somehow. Hatred scuffed, pushing Wind's head back to the side. Besides, even if you understand, he steps back and turns away from Wind. There is nothing you can do to stop me. He raises his hand to his mouth as though he were holding a glass to drink. The shadows start to dance as though they were alive. Not last time. He looks over his shoulder. And definitely not this time. He quickly closes his hand and the darkness and shadows cover everything. All that could be heard from the distance was audible noise of suffering echoing across the empty city. And then silence. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That's just the epilogue of the story. If you guys want to hear more of it, let me know in the comments. I am kind of enjoying writing a script uh, and reading it out loud. I, I used to write stories like this before. I never really got too far into it. And my this actually came from one of my stories. I That's where I got my name, uh, Wind Signs, from the Wind character that I created long ago that I'm rewriting. I decided to do a little bit of a video transcript, I guess. Uh, if you want to catch more of that, let me know in the comments down below. If you liked it, feel free to hit the like button. If you want to catch more of these kind of random stuff, uh, subscribe and enjoy. We'll see you next time, traveler.